Oh, that's easy. Um, I would have been a bumming skydiver. Um, I got into skydiving in my younger years, uh, and I still actually do have a small investment in a skydive drop zone in Spain. But there's no money in it, and I'm too old to really do it too often these days. Well, I've just decided it's my Sonos app. Um, I have a Sonos sound system, it's my, my one big toy at home, and it's fantastic. You can sit on the sofa, you can control the music in every room in the house. Unfortunately, I learnt at an early age that if you try to change a partner's business model too quickly and for something that doesn't suit them, you'll break the relationship. I don't think I could. Um, I had a week off about three weeks ago and I got bored after two days. Um, so I don't, I don't think I'm ready to retire just yet. But maybe I would look to do something different. I, I've been in the IT industry now for 25 years, 25 years this year. And you know, maybe at, at some point in the future, um, I'd want to do something completely weird and wacky. I've always fancied working for the RSPCA, for example, you know, looking after the dogs and cats. You know, who knows? That might be something. I think I'll probably answer the question a different way. I think rather than thinking about competition, think about sort of companies in, in a broad sense that, that I admire. And I think you'd have to look at Google. Uh, you, you, you see where they've come from. In, in, in less than 15 years, they've come to dominate our industry. You, know, you, you go back to 98, when really was the, the, their first dawn. Who ruled the industry? It was people like IBM, people like Microsoft. Where are they now? Well, they're still around, but Google now set the agenda. Google are now investing for the future, creating self-driving cars, you know, glasses that give you lots of you know, information. Who would have thought that would come from a search engine? Who, you know, who knows what they're going to do next? I've been given some very good advice, I think, by some very, very good managers. Uh, I think a, a very simple piece of the advice, it sounds a bit cliched, is be yourself. That's very important. You, know, you, you can't be a fake to your customers, you can't be a fake to your partners, and you can't really be a fake to your management. So I guess that, 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 that's probably it. Um, piece of advice maybe I would give to other people, if you're thinking about your career and how you want to progress, the analogy that I use is think about yourself as a rock climber. Only take one limb off the rock face. Only change one big thing about what you're doing, be that your, your industry, your location, or the role you're doing. Don't try and change too much at once. It brings too much risk in. crystal ball out. I think it will do. What it looks like, what it does, I won't even attempt to answer. Uh, people buy from people. People don't buy from you know, large corporations uh, with people that are transient. They tend to have a long-term relationship with the same organisation year on year. You know, be that buying software, hardware, or whatever it happens to be, people tend to go into the same shops, for example. So I think the channel will still be there because people really value that more human touch that a local partner can bring them.